Welcome to another Field of Glory 2 battle. This match against Tomoe Gozen is part of a custom map campaign being run on the Yusul Lorraine forums. So here it is. I am playing as Egypt. Uh, and in this match, I'm actually using Arab allies to raid into Babylonian territory. So that's why it's Arab versus Babylonian. So because I'm raiding into his territory, I really do have to attack him if we draw there's no benefit to me so I have to try to assault and win and it's a fairly strong position not so good for the best unit in my army which is the Arab cavalry so I'm only getting four extra units they disorder enemy cavalry and they have bows maxing on light foot and master archers and otherwise 19 units of irregular foot garbage the Babylonians can get well, cavalry and chariots, and luckily, again, this isn't a map too friendly to that sort of thing. Light archers, tons of massed archers, so my irregular foot are pretty vulnerable to archery, although massed archers will go down even to irregular foot and melee. Assyrian style medium foot, bow, light spear, swords when protected, these are better than my regular foot by a mile. And the Lydian hoplites are better by a few miles, but there's only two of them. And of course, the guard foot are just horrifying, but they're expensive. So we'll see how he deploys, but really I'm going to have to find a way to stretch out my line on both flanks and use the hopefully superior numbers that I brought to try to wrap around. Okay, let's see what he's got. Yep, it's a strong position, so we'll take our time with it. And look ahead a little bit with lights. We have numbers at least. Okay. Next turn. He'll post up here, and here, and here. It's a nice position, the deep stream in front. I'm gonna be hard pressed to attack, but I have to attack because I'm attacking the campaign. So nice what a bit of context can do for your battles. Keep shifting over. And I could just stay out of bow shot in the center and start shifting more skirmishers over to the wings. I think that's probably a good idea. Six skirmishers there, it's pretty good. And Five over here. Camels, huh? Let's uh, counter that then with our own camels. gonna take a while to get into position. Next turn. Everything going as expected so far.
since he's not going to be willing to cross in the center, we can push a number of units over to the left. So we'll keep pushing the flanks. Next turn. There's that bug again. So, no sound. Sorry. It uh, occasionally will play music. And that, I believe, will get me flagged for copyright. Need a good missile screen to advance here. Okay. Might ah, the commander in chief. We'll, we'll keep him there. Good. This whole command will shift over and try to engage his cavalry. This bunch will try to cross here, get into that forest and loop around, potentially with support from the main body if needed, but this deep stream is not a desirable location to charge across. Next turn. Is he going to come over? He can't come over with just these units. He'll need to bring reinforcements if he wants this to work. Wow, that's annoying. Interesting. Let's start creeping forward on this wing. But it seems that I might want more men over here after all. Okay, do I cross or do I let him commit to crossing himself? Probably that, to be honest. Ugh. Out. Could do. Let's draw him in a little bit further. Shield arc. Camels and accept a little bit more fire to try to get these units across, and then we can counter charge while still working our way around here. Next turn. Let's see if we can get him to cross over without shredding us here. If we get these masked archers over, we could counter charge, and that would be most likely highly effective if we don't disrupt too many points first. 
long range half bow disordered archery, so I'm not worried about it. Interesting. Which way are they going, man? Let's move in parallel with our lights. And begin the crossing here. Let's leave command there and start shifting camels over as well. Good, and we can stay out of bow shot and still inch forward a little bit. Okay, here, it's loose and loose. Evade, and we catch him. Good. He drops. Disrupt. We might be able to take advantage. If we, let's see, we move here. Huh. I move here, I still have AP to move, so then I can move here, then bump in the way. Nope, can't move around, too bad. Well, that's fine then. And the stream can help the camels hold against even chariots, I think. Try for a frag. Good. Okay. We can prepare to assist with missiles. Very good. Next turn. are unarmored. Well, the light archers will have to absorb the arrows. And we'll get forward with the irregular foot. Push those masked archers. The D 
heat stream. It's disordering pressure that medium foot. Take a risk. Good. Keep this unit of camels in reserve to counter the chariots. Uh, go for impact. Go for a break. Good. Excellent. Let's hmm. Nope. Charge in. Get a flank next turn unless he counters with the archers. We'll charge here. We'll hopefully lose slowly being disordered. Regular foot can block the crossing of these units if we station them there. This unit can be in reserve on the rough ground. Okay, so next turn, hopefully, a charge into contact. Next turn, so hopefully, we hold for through the storm of arrows here, and then we can close the contact. That is the idea, anyway. Disruptions on both sides here. They might disrupt. Yep. General up here. Zones this flank, that's okay. Okay, if you insist. Excellent. Camels waiting in ambush. But that doesn't worry me too much. Should be able to just shove them off. No, you will not get around. Good. We can move here to turn around next turn. Do I want to? Can you be charged? I don't think so. Okay. Push. Huh. You fail. Disrupted doesn't matter, they're disordered anyway. Uh, make room next turn. 
Is that worth it? Not really. I'd rather let him just shoot at me while disordered with half bow. That's not a huge deal. Let's see what happens here. Hmm. We'll need to be ready to lug the gaps then. Very good. Absorb arrows so that the regular foot don't have to. Excellent. Do we push them? Get around? One or the other, we're going to go for it. Next turn. Bold move. Now what does that do? Frag on that unit, that's fine. They're running away right now anyway. This zone is unfortunate. That's kind of annoying, actually. Now we can't reach that fragged unit. Zone them in. They are severely disordered after all. Excellent. Okay. Uh, threaten that flank. Go for a drop. What does that do for us? Held firm. Well, charge. We just stay in contact for a turn, which we can guarantee with these slingers. We can drop them to fragged. Next turn, you get the hell out of there. Into contact. Threaten the fragged unit. Sound them in. Lucky, not that it really mattered. Maybe, hmm, it's a bit dodgy, but we'll general up for the next melee. Good, now charge downhill.
and inspire the men. Good. Most unpleasant. Well, if we stay in contact, we can go for a drop anyway. Push forward. Follow up. Good. Actually, before we do that, shove them off. Nope. Cover. Mask them. Good. Offer yourself up as a target. If you run some down, that's fine. It's a distraction. That's what we need. can work on threatening these chariots. All right, next turn. Ow, oh, what a shame. Hold that, please. Nope. Good. Just, all right, they stayed in contact, so that's fine. So looping around behind, we need to prevent that with the regular foot. Most unpleasant. Fine. Good. Lots to do. You're going to turn around. Charge. Good, that breaks contact. Now shove these camels off so that... No. Alright. Charge here. Good. Set up flank on this unit. And on this unit. Make them pay for their maneuvering. Good. Get the drop. Right. Let's see what this does. Held firm. Held firm. If we shove you. No dice, okay. Good, there it is. Drops that unit back down to disrupted, which is good. Here, you push on. You got the drop. Maybe then you can survive this melee a bit longer. Maybe. Really? But what if you didn't? Mm. There it is. 
good. Let's get some help for our camels in this shootout. Okay, if no one rallies, that's game. Alright, anyway, God, thanks for the game. See if anything happens in this phase of rally. Another rally. So. Uh, in short, given the strategic situation where I was raiding into his territory, there's no need to cross over. And I think he should have stood his ground at an arc, you know, here to here. Granted, this is not ideal cavalry country, so he would have been a little bit crowded, which is unfortunate. But I think that's better than crossing over with massed archers into... Well, not immediate charge range, but relatively easy access to regular foot. So, how does that affect the overall strategic situation? So this battle was a raid from desert into province 11. Uh, so, that's Tomagosen's Babylonian territory, and that's Babylon itself. And this opens up, if I want to, uh, raiding into either 10 or 12, of course, so Sipar or Nippur, but also, more importantly, 13, Akdabana, so it's median territory under the control of Richard. So now, with that, I have options to raid any of my opponents. Uh, which I suppose I already had, I could have raided Richard with the Scythians, but not so into the Scythian army, so the ability to use the Arabs to raid into median territory should be a nice alternative. So Babylonia is now half victory points for anybody who holds it, and we've opened up our raiding options. And as a result of winning the previous battle in which uh, Tomogosin used his Arab allies to raid into Memphis, I can now, if I wish to, field an army of Arab with Egyptian allies. That might be more useful for taking on uh, armies of medium foot, so we'll see. So... A good game to Tomagosen. Till next time.